So what are we doing today, Larry? Now we're going to pick up a Grizzly. A, uh, I think it's a 2000. 2001. 2001. 600. Yeah, she sat for a couple years. Finally got her going. So uh, we got her fired up last night. And it'll be a good budget bike for Larry. So this is going to be kind of a, a series called Make the Grizzly Great Again. So I'll, uh, we'll flash to that right now. Well, here we are. Short little drive around the corner. So uh, we're going to pick up the machine from Jake's here. You guys have seen Jake in uh, a lot of the other videos. He's got the uh, Defender. Yeah. What's the code for it? I'd rather not have it on camera. <laughs> oh, I'll cut it out. I remember from last night. Come what on. is it? Oh. oh, super secret code. Don't see it. Don't see it. I've been breaking enters in here. Oh, yeah? Seriously. I believe it. Three of us have been talking about it. We got the classic door open reveal. Look at the beast in the back corner there. Look at this guy. So, 2001 Grizzly 600. This is going to be uh, Larry's main ride. Larry's been filming with me and riding with me for the past little while. So he's eventually said, hey, I want to get my own machine. So uh, this machine's been sitting in here for, oh geez, two years now. Year and a half, two years. It ran before. And... Uh, what happened was Jake just didn't have time to uh, adjust the carb and everything on it. So now Larry's going to take it over and uh, and get her all fixed up. So let's uh, let's see if she fires up today. She fired up nice last night. Well, after a little bit of ether and everything. But uh, we'll go from there. Well, this is kind of moment of truth here, eh? She fired up last night. Let's see if she fires up today. Give her one more go here. Yeah. Let's see if she goes. I don't even know how to start this thing. So brake on the left hand side. Yeah, that guy. And then the start button is directly underneath of it. Choke, yeah. You. You're passing that camera there. Well, what do you think? Gives you a little more confidence, eh? It does. Uh oh. Oh. Yep, she's cold. <laughs> Got to put the. Uh... Oh. There you go. Grizzly lives. Look at that. Sounds like the transmission needs a little adjusting there on the cable. Gotta have to hold her in. Talk about Yamaha reliability, eh? Fucking bike. The bike hasn't ran in, yeah, a year and a half or so. And. Sounds like a day we bought. Yeah. She went in gear, backed up. Look at that. 
making the grizzly great again so she needs a little bit of love as you can see right there there's a hole in the air box where it melted through so that needs to be fixed up snorkel kit yeah we'll uh we'll just bypass the air box entirely and uh as you can tell tires are in great shape beauty little bike well larry's gonna bring it for the maiden voyage you just back her up over there larry and then pull her out you can go into the backyard Ah, look at that. So, ah, you'll be fine. Not like you're going to be hot dogging it. <laughs> Need some lube. Yep. Look at that. You know, props to Yamaha, they make a nice machine, like like I said, this machine's literally sat for a year and a half in the garage doing nothing. And all we did was get her running, and she's good to go. Look at that. That's mint. Yamaha Power. You're back to one light. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, so that's got to be a bit of an electrical issue that we'll have to figure out. Well, now that you've uh, actually ridden it a little bit here, what do you think? I think we made a pretty good deal. Yeah? <laughs> Feels good, eh? Yeah? She She rips when you hawk on her. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the entry. Yeah. It runs like garbage. Yeah. <laughs> wait, <doesn't> wait. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know what we'll do? When, when Jake gets back, we'll tell him that we couldn't get it running right. And uh, and Larry wants like 1600 for it now. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get this stuck on the trailer. Sounds good. Yeah, exactly. Should do a poll and see what color I should paint it. You're gonna do the paint. You're gonna paint the plastics. Yep. No shit. Yeah. So we should uh, see what people think. Fuck! I'm pumped about that. It'll uh, it'll get whatever color gets the most likes. There you go. Yeah. Sounds good. So Jake still isn't home yet. We're just grabbing hey, the machine. Hey. So. Uh, you guys at my house? Yeah, yeah, we're at your house. We're having a little bit of trouble with the machine, though. It won't fire up. Oh, yeah, man. You said you're cruising around driving in the yard. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got video evidence, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. No, we got it all on video, too. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm almost there. I'm just passing you ain't there. Oh, okay. Sounds good. We'll see you when you get here, then. Yep. Ciao. Well, that's it for uh, today's video. We'll follow up with some uh, updates on the Grizzly and everything. And uh, we'll keep you guys up to date on how things are going and what we're doing to her. These fucking lights look like eyeballs. Hey, but they fucking work, man. They're probably quite as hell. What kind of fucking nuts do you use out here? I don't know, you got the wrong That explains it. This fucking hack job of a fucking mount all done up. What a fucking guy. What a view. What a view. Uh, Let's just go take a fucking shit over his pillow. Fuck. That guy will literally weld up the ugliest shit or strap the ugliest shit to his machine and be like, hey, what do you think? Look, works good, eh? <laughs> and it's like, holy fuck, you spent $26,000 on this machine. <laughs> and you weld that on? And there's no fucks given.
Right? This really goes to show how much confidence Larry had that this machine was going to run. He brought the trailer with the winch.